Hello everybody, my name is Schmucky the Clown. Welcome back to Clarence's Big Chance. We are back here in the rooftops of the park. The treetops, not the rooftops. They're tops of some kind, that's all I know. Uh, this might be a shorter than usual episode. Maybe, I don't know, because I have to go do this part where I'm gonna... where I'm gonna possibly drop all the way down into the bottom of the park and then have to loop around to get here. I was contemplating earlier uh, uh, making a decision just if I die, or if I if I fall, and I screw up this next part, I'll just let myself die so I can reload right there at the TV. But I didn't know if that might negatively impact me. I don't know if there's, you know, if it does like a death count in my overall evaluation at the end of the game. I don't want to F it up for the sake of this one part. Now you may be thinking, hey, why don't you get some freaking skill and just do it? Oh god, this cop. Ugh. Oh, that bird just saved me. Screw you. I, I do not need that distraction when I'm trying to do this. Nice. Alright. I upped the game volume a little bit, just because I really love the soundtrack of this game. I felt like maybe in the previous 11 freaking episodes it could have been louder. I talk loud enough, usually. Yep. I done goof there. No. Oh, no! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ugh. That's frustrating. Now I gotta go loop again. Jeez. This was attached to the house, right? I don't think so. Was it? Was this attached to that big house? I made a mention of this being like a garage or something. I feel like I did anyway when I first went through there. Yeah, it was. Okay. That makes it slightly more manageable. Climb, climb, climb! Oh, I thought that was too close for a second. Go. Go. Out of my way! God, he moves slow. This way. Now we get to try this again. Whoa, oh, move. Alright. Let's get a move on, shall we? Look at that, double kill. Triple, oh, the fucking pie. They all gonna be back to life? That cop gonna be over there shooting? Doesn't seem like it. Nope, he's, oh yeah, he's back. No! Oh, he shot me right in the ass. Oh, the bird saved me! Yes! The bird! I got an assist from the bird! That was awesome. That was awesome. So I only screwed it up twice, basically, if you're keeping score at home. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. I thought I had one heart for a second. I did not want that guy to end me after I went through all that. Oh, jeez. I'll take the hit if I have to. I will take the bullet. Stupid bird. Took it. Didn't care. Took the hit. Had to do it. Gonna save right there. Oh, there's a car. Do I have to time this somehow? Yeah, it looks like I I can time it and drive it back. Oh my god, look at all those coins. They're they're freaking taunting me. They're taunting me. Oh no! Okay. Oh my god. Come on! No! Okay. That's how this is gonna be. That's- Whoa! Jesus. A whole other area over there. Some coins here. I can get to them. But I have to make the jump? Alright. Make the jump. Simple as that. So now how do I get back up there? It- Oh! What the fuck?! That car just killed a fucking duck. Oh no. No. Oh. Pied again. Pied again. But hey, with that TV right there, I don't care as much. Nope. Yes! I did it! I. Oh! Oh! 
I almost made a colossal blunder there. Okay. I don't I don't need the car now. I wanna just jump across this. And I wanna get these coins. Actually, do I want the car? Do I want the drive to drive the car through that? I don't know. Thank you. Oh. oh, I didn't need the clown. I can get it myself. I can get it myself, damn clown. All right. Actually, I think I know where this is. This is the little area that I could see, but not get to. Right? Let me see. Sometimes you have to jump out of a car while it's moving. What a daredevil you are, Clarence. No regard for danger at all. Hold space when jumping senselessly out of the vehicle in order to achieve the necessary lift. When it says necessary lift, what exactly do I have to do? Oh. Oh, are you shitting me? I have to drive the fucking car through those walls and then jump out of it so I can get through the, the leafy part into the key room. Fuck that noise. Who came up with that? It is brilliant, but God, I want to light your family on fire. That is insane. And I love how the sign is so nonchalant, too. It's like, oh, you daredevil. Because driving a, a car in the park treetops is not a daredevil thing to do in the first place. Now we're jumping the fuck out of it. So I do need this car. I need to find a way to... How am I going to get the car over the gap? Can I just speed up and it'll make it? All right, let's go back. Let's freaking pray. Yes, it made it. Well, that looked a lot easier. Then this is gonna fucking be, I guarantee you that. Jesus Christ. All right. Hold on to your butts. Let's fucking do it. Let's go. Jump. Yeah, first try. Love it, love it. Oh, the goddamn birds. I need to use the bird's head to get up there. I got the key. I got the key. Look at that. That's awesome. Now we can drop all the spikes. All the spikes. So I have this key, which means I need to go back now. Now I need to visit the sewers again. Because the whole reason that we just went through that ordeal in the treetops was to make sure we had this key to go unlock that room in the sewers that had the dating tip. The dating advice. This old guy and this cop with his hookers who... I, maybe they have a thing for getting bashed in the head by an overweight gentleman. They've got to. To revisit that spot that many times, with that always being the end result, there's got to be something going on there. I can finally get in here. Yes, sirree, Bob. Stupid bat. Conquered your ass. Her favorite section of a trilobite is its cephalon for obvious reasons. That was a whole lot of gibberish. Are we going to be talking about trilobites at, at the at the date? That's, these are getting weirder. And why does it say for obvious reasons? The way my mind works it interprets that as being a sexual thing, even though the tip right before that one said she's a non-sexual person. Maybe she's a fucking liar, too. I've stated before that I believe the end result will probably be something horrible, like she's... She's as unattractive physically as Clarence is, and he'll reject her for that, being shallow. And it'll be an ironic ending. That would actually piss me off. Or that she ends up being a man. Some of those would piss me off, because I have gone through a lot for Clarence here. For the sake of trying to help him out. He wants to experience love, and I'm trying to help him with that. While getting through his daily grind. Give me my car. I drive to work. I'm a fucking adult. Uh, okay. I jump on disappearing blocks to work because I'm an adult. Yeah. I get owned by disappearing blocks because I'm an adult. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that. Over this wall. Hey, generic company! That looks important! I work at generic company and there's a hooker outside. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't think I can get rid of her. Oh, I can. Eat her heart. There you go. Eat the hooker's heart before you go into work. 
All right, a, a generic company, so this is work. I'm I'm thinking this is going to be the end of the the city level, the outside level, because when I exited Clarence's house, it, it ended a level. So now I'm thinking the walk to work was its own level. So let me go through this. I got all my items collected. There were no items to speak of that I knew of. Work tasks is still nothing, but it, I'm sure I'm about to get those. Chat up advice. I have no chat up advice. That might be an issue. I got all the personality tips. Her name is Wanda. She likes classical music. Her favorite animal is a regal sea slug. Libido wise, she's frumpy. Considers video games a waste of time, but she lives to party. Enjoys comedy films, and her favorite section of a trilobite is its cellophane. Cephalon. I don't know if I'm even saying that word right. I explored 100% of the city map, though. That's good. That means I, I couldn't have missed anything. Or I'm really fucking bad at the game. Let's see. Let's see if the level ends when I go in. Yeah, level two is complete. I got 500 out of 500 coins. There were zero out of zero items. So like I thought, there were no items to get in that level. And I got four out of four tips. So it gave me a 100% total. And so Clarence arrives at work for another day's dreary drudgery to fill the man's pockets. I like that. It's like a hippie thing. He works for the man. You'd best be sure to perform well. Ladies aren't too impressed by the unemployed. Maybe you can even get that promotion. I didn't know there was a promotion. He's getting a promotion? Or he's trying to get a promotion? That would be good. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to do a bunch of work tasks to get it. Just based on my menu. Alright, so... Next time, Clarence goes to work. That'll be fun. Oh, I got achievements. Work goer. I finished level two. Clarence didn't get completely lost or fall asleep in a ditch on the way to work today. I guess that happens a lot. And you know what? Based on the, the path he had to take just to get to work, the ditches in his community must be easy to fall asleep in. And what's this one? Gutter looter. I managed to collect all the coins on level two. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, so like I said, next time Clarence goes to work, let's get busy.